In a recent live stream, I challenged my chat, aka the Wagon Dragons, to play a Jeopardy style game where we try to identify famous flat pickers based only on audio clips. Now, let's play. Yes, that flat picker. There are three categories on the board. The categories are Church Street Blues, Cherokee Shuffle, and Nine Pound Hammer. And as you can see, there are five clues in each category where we will listen to an audio sample. <laughs> we will all scream who we think it is. Here's the best part of this game. I've forgotten what, what the answers are. And nowhere, anywhere does it say what the answers are. I think we're gonna play this one together. Anyone wanna go for 100 level and take it easy on the hardest category? Okay, I got a second for 400, I'm in. All right, what's this sound like? Do we think this is Tony Rice, Molly Tuttle, Trey Hensley, or like, I don't know, Billy Strings? Who who could this be? All right, Loco says that it's it's OG Tony Rice. I don't I don't think it is OG Tony. Does Tony do the pickup? Or does he just start right on the beat? All right, so Tony and Josh are the most most popular ones. Let's ask that question. All right, I'm seeing the most votes for Tony Rice. We're gonna run with that. Here we go. Your answer is Tony Rice. Show it to me. Who is it? Ooh. Looks like we got a little Josh Williams here. <laughs> I'm sorry, boys. That was a, a 400 question. We're starting the game off at negative 400. Good, good job. Good, good job going for the hard ones, though. <laughs> I mean, he's probably got the closest Church Street Blues to Tony. Tough. <laughs> if it sounds like Tony, but you get the feeling it's maybe not Tony, it's Josh Williams. Michael Mark knows what's up. That's true. Everyone vote. Tell me where we're going next. Did Marcel remember to make the difficulty scale appropriately, or did he only do that for two of the three categories? Don't remember. I did Nine Pound Hammer last. It was a long time ago now. Okay, people are seconding 200. Let's pop in. Clarence White, no, it's more modern than that. Loco Joe's got a good guess with Brian Sutton. Here's what's going on in my head. I'm thinking that this is a talented player who's playing a slightly simpler break um, because there's some things in there that I feel like are more difficult, but they're just playing it kind of casual. Brian Sutton, Chris Eldridge, I think those are good guesses. Doesn't that last lick, the way that last lick feels, make you not think that it's Norman? I've never heard Norman do something like that. Let's see, who do we have? It looks like it's Norman or Chris Eldridge. <laughs> Did you throw us off and it's actually Billy? I mean, there's that double stop work that we just heard, like right here. I don't feel like I hear Billy do double stops quite like that. You know, that one lick makes me think that maybe it's not Norman. If I, if I was able to vote in the poll, I'd probably vote for Chris Eldridge. It seems like everyone is voting for Critter. I'm gonna end that poll. Let's see if it is Critter. Mm, so tense. <laughs> and it is Critter. Nice learning experience on this game. Yeah, it is, right? You really have to kind of critically listen to these breaks. Looks like we're going to Cherokee Shuffle. Everyone shout out numbers. Do you want 100, 200, 300, 400, 500? Tell me where we're going. <laughs> 100, I need a win. Everyone's saying 300, 300 on Cherokee Shuffle. What are we gonna get? Ah, man, I feel like I didn't get enough info from that one. Wait a second, let me listen to that again. So it's not a solo performance this time. And I feel like the banjo work is really good. Like we got really hip banjo comping in the background. <laughs> so someone with a really good banjo player. Billy, I don't think it's Billy. 
If you think it's Billy, I, I think that's a miss. Um, this is a very interesting break. Almost got a Brian vibe. I feel that. Tuttle, I feel that. Tony, uh, it doesn't feel like Tony to me. David Greer, we got two votes for David Greer. That's interesting. I see a couple Brian Suddens and I see a couple David Greers. If anyone else has anything, shout it out. But I think that's what we're going to whittle it down to. Yeah, I feel that. I feel the Brian Sutton guess. I get that. I back you guys up. Oof. It's David Greer. We're so close. We're so close. Oh. <laughs> and I'm over here like the banjo playing sounds really good. It's Tony Trishka and it's Don Pakelli. <laughs> guys, you, you whittled it down to the correct two answers. And unfortunately, we went with Brian Sutton. That's OK. We can still come back from this. We can still get wins. You were defeated on Church Street Blues last time. You think, hey, maybe we can win Church Street Blues this time. It is the hardest category. All right, we got, we got a couple of votes for 200. Michael Mark and Nicholas want 200. Oh, I still got the most votes for 200. We're going 200. I like how we're just listening to the same break over and over again, you know, like really seriously, like, mm, yeah, maybe this is so, in everyone's playing the same break on Church Street Blues, man. This one is, the tone is so Trey. That's a good guess. We know that there's a video of Trey playing Church Street Blues because we transcribed it recently. OG Tony, Tony, Dan Tominski, yeah. He did this one with Molly Tuttle, I think, on that record. Definitely not, Tony. Come on, if that's not the homespun version. So <laughs> this is so interesting because some people are saying, oh, no, that sounds just like Trey. And other people are saying, come on, that's the homespun version. And then we got Michael Mark being like, nope, not Tony. Maybe the most guesses are for Trey and for Tony. I retract, that's Trey. OK, most, most votes for Trey and Tony. Did I even include Tony Rice in this category? I don't remember. <laughs> Trey is our answer. We're locking that in. Uh, computer, please reveal the correct response. Ooh. Congratulations, guys. All right, everyone remember what I sound like playing Church Street Blues. So if this comes up, you'll know who it is. We're, we're up to negative 300. We're killing it now. We're really killing it. We got to pick what category we're going to next. It is going to be a 400 level question in the Cherokee Shuffle category. Here we go. Just a guitar player and a mandolin player. What? duo could it be? Marcel, I think I heard the Marcel lick. <laughs> Wait a second, is, is the Marcel lick in there? <laughs> that is the Marcel lick. This is the lick that I'm being chastised for. The lick hit different. Oh, I love it. I love that everyone's just like, oh, that's the Marcel lick. We got a couple votes for Billy Strings, but let's 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 put it to a vote. Who do we think it is? I mean, we haven't had Billy come up yet. We also haven't had me come up yet, though. So that's mighty suspicious. OK, everyone thinks it's me. Everyone thinks it's me. Let's see who it actually is. And it is me. <laughs> Here's the funny thing. I heard that, I listened to it the first time and I had no idea it was me. Michael Mark recognized my own playing faster than me. That is a little scary. All right, that is a win, gang. We are now positive 100. We are running out of squares as we reach the mid game here. Yep, that's it. Okay, 500 level question, Church Street Blues, here we go. If you guys don't get this, I'm going to be so disappointed. I'm going to be so disappointed in all of you. <laughs> it's like the weirdest thing in the Church Street Blues category. My <laughs> Michael Mark says it's the Punch Brothers. I think you, I think you might have it, buddy. <laughs> 
Okay, all right. We don't we don't have to sit around for this one. Everyone knows. Could have picked the outro to make it harder. Uh, I could have, but this is just infinitely funnier, I guess. Let's see if we were right. And of course, we were. Let's give it those points. We we're up to 600. That 500 was ironically the easiest one on the list. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I assumed Tree Street Blues would be so difficult that it made sense to have a gimme. You got to make up all the points that you lost on all the other questions. It's kind of looking like we're going to end in the positives, which maybe maybe is our end goal. We just want to keep a positive score. Okay, I'm seeing Nine Pound Hammer take the lead. 500 Nine Pound Hammer, here we go. Did Marcel do something tricky here? That's not a flat picker. Michael Marks says Merle Travis. It's a good guess. Abe says Doc. That's another great guess. Okay, it looks like we're pretty split between Merle Travis and Doc Watson. So let's do that vote. Uh, we got 18 votes and we are tied right in the middle. If you have not voted yet in the uh, poll that's in chat, you should vote. Do we think that's Merle Travis or Doc Watson? Black and white video of Merle Travis sitting down on a TV show. <laughs> That's a very specific guess. It looks like Doc Watson is holding the lead though, despite all the Merle Travis talk in chat. Looks like we're going with Doc Watson. It looks like that is indeed a Merle Travis break and not a Doc Watson break. Merle Travis fans, you had it, man. You just had to shout a little louder and you would have won that thing. That was a 500 level question. We do have to take away 500 points, which takes us down to a 100 point lead. Ah, uh, it was Marcel again. It was me playing the break all along again. I'm choosing for you, gang. I'm sorry, but this is how the game has to work because I want to keep it moving. I'm picking, ooh, do I want to pick? I think I'm going to pick Cherokee Shuffle for 100. <laughs> How clean it is and the way the articulations are used makes me think that it's a modern player. People who are guessing like Billy Strings, Brian Sutton, I think you're on the right track. I think that's the kind of player this is. Are we unanimous with a with a Brian vote? Oh no, we got we got a couple Billies in there. Here, let's have a vote real quick. I don't see a change in you guys think it's Brian Sutton. Alright, computer. Show me Brian Sutton. Hell yeah. Yeah, it was Brian playing like Brian. It was indeed, um, which is a shocking turn of events. Let's see where we're going now. Looks like everyone wants to go to Nine Pound Hammer. That is fine with me. Looks like 400 is taking it. Here is your Nine Pound Hammer, level 400. Here is our clue. Who is it? This is a long break. This is a long break. Do we need a list of that whole thing? <laughs> Michael Mark says Tony in all caps. Okay, that, that beginning lick seems a little divisive here. It says there's no one else who does stuff, who does that stuff. Billy Strings, Billy probably. If that's not Billy, I quit. It is a live video. We can hear people like hollering and stuff. Here's what I'm dealing with. Michael Mark so affirmatively said Tony in all caps, and he is kind of a Tony Rice expert. And there's a lot of stuff in there that is Tony stuff. But that beginning is super weird. That is something super jam bandy that Billy would do. But I've heard like 15 minute versions of me and my guitar where Tony gets super weird. I just wonder if the rest of it after that weird lick, like you can't ignore the rest of it after the weird lick. Is that something that Billy would play? I'm not sure it is. There's a few people that think it's Tony, but they are way outnumbered by the people that think it's Billy. Okay, let's, let's reveal the correct response. I'm sorry guys. Looks like it was Josh Williams. Josh Williams pretending to be Tony Rice. What did Michael Mark say? Michael Mark said, if it sounds like Tony, but you get the feeling it's maybe not Tony, it's Josh Williams. If 
If we could have followed that advice, we would have known it was Josh Williams. It all makes sense now. Yeah, very few things left on the board. You know, we could pull out of this. We just need to get some like some dubs. It looks like Church Street is the vote. If you haven't voted in the poll, remember to vote in the polls. Okay, everyone wants Church Street. Uh, looks like most people are going for 300. You're thinking you're going to recoup your losses now that our score is sitting at negative 200. I think that's a good idea. Maybe I'll, I'll wait for a vote or two to roll in. We need to listen to it again. Does everyone know what it is after one time through? I suspect you do. It's the homespun video without a doubt. <laughs> the video is burned into our brains. I don't want to create confusion amongst the ranks, but we did think it was the homespun video once before. So it's funny that we hear this and we're like, no, this is more homespun video. Of course, 300, dead in the middle. It's got to be the baseline, <laughs> OG Tony. Yeah, it's like centers of gravity pulling away from Tony. <laughs> He's got to be the 300. If we keep shouting, it'll eventually be right. Yeah, that's right. So let's see, is this, is this Tony Rice? <laughs> <laughs> it is the video. Y'all were right. Of course, this is it. It's so recognizable. And congratulations. That pulls us into the positive by 100. I'm going to write down the order we vote for these last questions, right? And then we don't have to do so many polls. Is that a good idea? I feel like that's a good idea. So next up is nine pound, 300. Cherokee for 200. Church Street for 100. Nine pound for 100. Final boss will be Cherokee for 500. Here we go. Your first vote was nine pound for 300. Oh, it's a pickup. Yeah, it sounds like a guitar with a pickup in it for sure. Michael Mark, that's actually genius. That eliminates a bunch of players, actually. I mean, Billy does play with pickup. Is there a guitar player back there playing the wrong chords? Is there like a second guitar player playing the wrong chords is my question. <laughs> It's, this sounds like kind of a messy like stage jam. If it's a Billy break, Billy is on stage with like a different band or something because we're, we're disagreeing on some of the chords here for sure. I mean, whoever it is, it's an uncomfortable situation. I mean, that's just facts. Whoever it is playing this break, this is not ideal. Maybe even playing with like non-bluegrass musicians or, or just like, you know, on a stage with like terrible monitors or something. Because that D chord at the end, whoever is playing rhythm guitar, he puts it in completely the wrong spot. Do we do we really just think it's Billy? No one else has another guess. Okay, I mean, we can lock that in if y'all think it's Billy. Show us the real response computer. Is this Billy Strings? That's Brian Sutton. Not only is it Brian Sutton, but this is the circumstance we're talking about. We got a big stage, bad monitoring, no one's wearing in-ears, right? Because that would be hell to run. And we got Dirk Spenley putting the D chord in the wrong spot while Brian Sutton tries to play the break. And this person in the silly hat with the feather is playing harmonica. This was, this is a bad performance, but this is what it's about, guys. You can't just say it sounds like Billy because he's plugged in, other people can plug in. That that was an L, we're at negative 200. Good news is we can make it back right now with our next pick. Our next pick was Cherokee Shuffle 200. <laughs> Just guitar and mandolin, it could be a duo situation. I don't think it sounds like any of those duos I'm familiar with. Lots of triplets. Yeah, it could be someone who has familiarity with like Irish music or something like that too. Cause some of those aren't just triplets. Some of them are like cuts and taps, which is how Irish musicians do them. When it's just a mandolin backing, it makes me want to guess Billy. <laughs> it's not Billy. It's way too clean to be Billy. It's Sierra Hole's husband, what's his name? Justin Moses. Justin Moses is a guess. Molly Tuttle might be an underrated guess. I don't think anyone has said Molly Tuttle yet, but I think that's not a bad guess. If you're if you were asking me what guesses I like the most, I think Justin Moses and Molly Tuttle are the best guesses. It sounds a little underplayed for Molly, to be honest. I feel like she'd tread it more. That's an okay take. Yeah, yeah, Molly could get weirder. Justin locking it in. Justin, okay. If we all think it's Justin, then let's just vote that. Okay, we're locking in Justin. We think it's Justin Moses. Computer, tell me who it is. We got the wrong couple, guys. That bums me out. Honestly, that kind of bums me out.
So we're now negative 400, but we're still playing a hell of a game. Uh, our next one is gonna be Trishy Blues for 100, so let's go check that guy out. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm keeping my mouth shut. It's not the toughest one. <laughs> All right, computer, show us who it is that's covering the Norman Blake version of Church Street Blues. Good work, guys. <laughs> Watch it be Justin Moses. <laughs> Dude, that would have been top 10 anime betrayals right there if it was <laughs> Justin Moses playing Church Street Blues like Norman Blake. <laughs> uh, Norman Blake must have been a time traveler. How else could he have covered Tony Rice before Tony's version came out? So true, so true. All right, guys, we are down to the last two. Of course, Cherokee Shuffle for 500 is gonna be our final boss. It'll be our chance to zero out, even if we lose to this one. Uh, but first we gotta do nine pound hammer for 100. We got one vote for Tony Rice, a second vote for the 90s radio rock band Tonic. Another vote for Tony Rice. Uh, could it be? Is it Tony? <laughs> yes. Loco Joe has been burned so many times before that he's reluctant to answer. Dare I suggest that it could in some world be Josh Williams because we've been we've been burned before. Personally, I think it's Tony. I think it sounds like Tony. Oh, no, it's going to be Justin, isn't it? Yeah. Who thinks it's Justin Moses? Tony sounding like Josh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, computer, tell me that it's Tony Rice, please. Yes. When the wheels all go. Hell yeah, boys. We're only at negative 300 now. We are killing it. Negative 300 means we're going to hit positive 200 as soon as we beat our final boss, Cherokee Shuffle, for 500. Who's it going to be playing Cherokee Shuffle? Let's find out. It's either Critter or Andy Falco, 100%. Oh, Michael Mark thinks it's from that one video. Someone go watch the entire Station In video and figure out which break it is. Kind of sounds like Justin Moses to me. I mean, I do want to influence. I've been influencing all along. I am the puppeteer and you are my puppets. I, this this uh, Casey Webb says Critter, nice and weird. I'm kind of feeling that, right? Like the weird syncopation, these weird little like triplet pull off things. They're kind of bizarre things that like, Critter likes to uh, get vulnerable with his breaks, right? He like picks things that he might not succeed at. Definitely sounds like Critter. I'm seeing the most votes for Critter, I think. Watch it be Banjo Ben. That's such a good idea. Next time we play this game, I'm doing all Banjo Ben breaks. Okay, we're voting it out. It's the last one, it's the last one. I can't decide. We know that it's from the uh, Station In video. We're wondering if it's Critter or Andy Falco because it's not Josh Williams. Josh Williams is the other guy in that video. You know what's funny about this is that Loco Joe said that he's gonna vote for Andy Falco, which means that Loco Joe still won't take a dub on this one, which I find very enjoyable. Computer, please show me Critter. Please show me Critter for the win. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's plus 200, boys. There it is. Wagon Dragons, take it with 200 points. There was several thousand points on the board. Um, so finishing with 200 is a solid dub. Well, well done, gang. Well done. Everyone, hey, why don't you give yourself a round of applause? Everyone give me some claps in the chat, please. This game is from Jacob, okay? I love that Jacob came up with this idea, but Jacob wasn't on the stream here today. Maybe when Jacob watches the playback, he can see all of you guys shout him out. Would all of you guys mind saying thank you, Jacob, for this idea? Because this wouldn't have happened without him. This was a brilliant idea. One, two, three. Thank you, Jacob. Can I run a side poll to see if people know what I'm making for dinner? Yeah, of course. Okay, cool. I'm making A, burgers, B, pork chops, C, salmon steaks, D, mac cheese. Uh, I'm gonna vote for pork chops. Pork chops is my vote. The results of my poll are in. Marcel takes the pot with the only guest for pork chops. Mm. Oh yeah, Blub went in the pork chop poll. 